So here we have a, uh, a homemade uh, PC board that has been made with the uh, toner transfer method. You can see uh, that it is double sided. This is the back side and this is the front. And uh, because uh, we let the outer router have its way and didn't try to make any adjustments, we have a few places that where we want to solder to the top side um, that are going to be hard to do because the component's going to or the socket's going to cover the place that's on the top side. So the first step that you should always do is not do this as you want to allow uh, to try to force the auto router to pick places like the end of a resistor for the top side which is easy to um, solder and avoid a place that's like underneath a capacitor which would be a hard place to uh, solder. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well one of the things that you can do is make a mock um, plated via. Now to do that you need um, some copper foil. Uh, the most this can be gotten at a hobby shop, uh, for example, uh, Hobby Lobby or uh, Michaels, and or any place that handles um, stained glass uh, products. And it's called foiling tape. Now, this particular foiling tape is um, three sixteenths of an inch wide and uh, 1.25 uh, micro uh, mil uh, excuse me 1.25 mils thick and then probably about another one mil of adhesive on the back we don't really want the adhesive but uh, so it's not but it doesn't hurt us so the first thing you do is take a pair of scissors and uh, cut a small piece off exactly how long is not that not that important uh, you want to grab it uh, where you can uh, pull the backing off in this case uh, it's going to be pretty easy because it looks like it already started okay get rid of the backing now you take a take a, uh, a needle and this is just a um, 15 sharp you can uh, determine the size of the needle you need by actually poking through one of the holes that you're going to use and the holes you should use uh, these were drilled with a number 62 drill so that's uh, 0.38 uh, 0 0.038 inches or 38 mils so now I'm going to take I'm going to actually handle the adhesive side a little bit, kind of make it a little less adhesive. And then I'm going to take my needle near the tip and I'm going to fold this around there. I'll roll it a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to take my fingernail and go right next to the needle and make a crease. Then I'm going to flip it over on the other side and do the same thing. So I make a crease. So when you do that you can see you've got a, a, uh, a roll around the needle or tube with a flap or a flag. Now I'm going to take a pair of very small scissors here uh, you could use a clipper. Get this out. And cut the flag off as close as I can. Now you won't get it perfect. There will be a little bit of a flag. Uh, then roll it around again, trying to keep it towards the tip of the needle. Oops, you see it fell off, but you can see it's got a tube shape, so I can just go back in when you get it where it looks like it's a, a nice tube and you want to do that then I, I usually go from the front side to the back and I just stick it in and 
I twist it a little bit and you can see it coming through. Now at that point I usually leave it almost flush but just a little bit to the back side. I don't know if you can see that on uh, this but it's you can see it's sticking through a little bit but not too much. Alright, I'm going to take my needle out. Now at this point I'm going to kind of cut it close to the other side. Probably not as close as it's through but when I do this it's going to cause the end to be smashed. I, that's one of the problems you're going to have to deal with. So you take your needle going through making sure that you don't push the line all the way through uh, the tube back out and you can slowly take your time open up open it up on the other side All right. and when you got it open on the other side now you have a tube that's stuck through the PC board All right. Uh, you're going to take two pencils that you've sharpened stick one on one end put the other one in the other end and smash I usually use a uh, micro, uh, magnifying glass with this so it's a little easier for me to do so at that point you can see where you how you're doing. This side over here is a little bit big. Bend it back down. Flush it. Push it against it to make it flush. Run your needle through it. Make sure everything's cool. Okay. Now there's that side. And here's the other side right here. You can see it looks really good on the back side here because that's where you you only pushed it through a little bit and then um, so you didn't have to cut that side. So now you have a copper tube that goes all the way through. When you solder, uh, you in fact you should touch it up if you really do this right you should touch this side with a little bit of solder before you put the component in and then you can, t you can now solder from the back side and you have a through connection. Well, that was, you can see it's very easy to do and the materials are very inexpensive. Uh, so this is another trick in, in making two-sided homemade boards that uh, allow you to overcome some of the issues. Well, that's it for now. Thank you.